Do not let your mechanic use this engine oil filter on your car. Let's take it away. Now, we'll show you guys that these filters actually match up for a 2018 Chevy Silverado. The correct makes and models will be included as you guys can see. We'll include filters such as the Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter, the Fram Tough Guard Oil Filter, and the AC Delco Oil Filter because we want to always compare the OEM oil filter to the aftermarket oil filters to see are they the exact same? Is the same oil filter company manufacturing both? Is it really just a gimmick? We're paying more money for a different oil filter with a different name? Let's not forget the K&N oil filter because they make top quality filters as well. We'll run through all the filters this way that you guys can see that they all match up to the proper numbers. This way you can use this for a cross reference as well. But I always say do your own research guys. Don't just take my word for it. And as you can see, you'll see all these videos that show the orange can of death Fran filter, mobile one filter, and many other great filters or bad filters should I say. But you can't just look at one video and say, well, I saw a video on one Fram oil filter and it was great quality. No, if you've worked in a manufacturing facility, then you guys probably know this yourself. There's many times that you could have quality issues, but some factories much more than others. So that's why it's a really great determining factor checking out different engine oil filters for different days manufactured. As you can see, we'll include the manufacturing dates as well. Now here we've looked up the K&N filter and we're ready to get started because I really am interested for you guys to see just what we find out today. I mean, I have to say, I was definitely shocked. It's really refreshing, but you can see here, hex filter to 59769 frame. So I guess these guys will actually help you guys out when you're choosing an engine oil filter. I'm not the biggest Fram fanboy, but I will say this, it is pretty cool they include things like that to try to help out the consumers. Here you have the k and filter, premium efficiency and capacity, heavy duty construction. You also include cross reference numbers. As you can see, the other numbers that we've shown earlier. Here we have the Wix, Royal Purple, Purolator oil filters, Mobile One, many others. So they do seem to go to great lengths. Now, if you've ever seen the websites for some of these engine oil filter companies, most of them are pretty ridiculous to actually use. But I will say that I have to give Fram credit in that aspect because they give you cross reference for any filter that you can possibly think of. And they also make it really easy to use their websites. Some of these other companies, I mean, they're almost impossible to use. But if you can't order the filter or you have trouble, well, you're definitely not going to use it. It doesn't matter about quality at that point. But as I always say, all the little things add up to one big thing. Here's the AC Delco. Nothing special on here. PF2232. Now, let's go ahead and check out the back side here. It says offers superior engine protection, removes engine damaging particles. Well, hopefully you don't have too many of those going on in your engine or you might be in for a big surprise, just like you are for today's video. Provides a durable, high quality filter. See catalog for application. So it would appear they do give some extra information. Fram oil filter, ultra synthetic. As you can see here, 20,000 mile operation. Uh, optimized for synthetic oil. Some people say that there is no such thing as some of these oil filters claiming that they are made for synthetic oil or not made for synthetic. There's no such thing as a filter made for conventional engine oil. But I will say this, what they're really referring to most of the time is you'll see that some filters are only good for about 5,000 miles. Now, if you have engine oil, it's good for say 10,000 miles. I don't suggest waiting that long, but if you want to, then you need a filter that's going to be able to hold up to that as well. Here we have 
the Fram Tough Guard, 15,000 miles. Now, let's take a look at the back of this one, some more information. Engineered for tough driving conditions, stop and go traffic, synthetic blend provides 99% efficiency. Any other important details that you can include right here, checking out all this information. We'll also show you guys where they're manufactured, which is pretty cool if you want to look at that. Some people are interested in buying things made in the USA, some really don't care. You'll see on this box for the frame, they include uh, insulation instructions, which is pretty cool. And just like the K&N, you'll see that you can include your current mileage, the date of the oil change, of the filter, and so on. It could help you out later on if you do forget and you write down your mileage. Now, as you can see, looking at these two base plates for the Fram filters, they have the same amount of inlet holes for the engine oil. Seem to be pretty similar construction. Is there really a great difference? Because there is a big difference in the price. Now I did think that the K&N and AC Delco oil filters had some interesting things going on here. And I'm really happy for you guys to see this. You can even see not only is the same amount of inlet holes, but they have these same strange markings on the front and you can see they include a number one on the front of the base plate. And if you'll turn it around, you'll see they have the same marking on the back as well for both, not to mention the same number on the back of it as well. Now we'll check out these gaskets. There is one gasket that seems to be a little bit thicker, but more or less, you can see with the construction, it appears to be the same. Look, even the same color markings. I mean, we're finding a lot of similarities here, but one cost double the amount, which is the K&N. They do cost quite a bit more. They seem to be made of pretty good quality. Check out this right here, these indentions. It would appear that both of them have these strange markings or indentions on the inside of this gasket material. You can see right here, I'll show you on the other gasket for the other filter, same little indentions. We'll show you guys a close-up look. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Strange indention. I'm assuming by the looks of it, it helps to hold the gasket in place. This is one of the biggest problems with engine oil filter changes because people end up leaving the gasket behind when they're twisting it off. And if you try to pull one of these gaskets out, it's actually really, really easy. Matter of fact, a lot of times they fall out. I've actually went to purchase a filter and there was no gasket inside. Now this is the anti-drain uh, back valve. This helps your engine oil filter stay full of engine oil. That way when your vehicle started up, it doesn't have to fill the oil filter completely up of engine oil because it won't be empty. I really don't see a big difference. Now, if you check out the size though, they're exact same size for the K&N and the AC Delco. But when compared to the Fram, you can see the Fram anti-drain back valve, they're actually quite a bit larger. Now, is this an issue? I really don't see it being an issue, but you may feel otherwise. I've heard a lot of people say that this way it actually can contain more engine oil, but that one's up to you guys on that. Now, we'll check out the materials. Nothing really special about that. Let's go ahead and move on. I'm curious to see this. Here we have the bypass valve, which is in the center. This is the oil bypass valve that allows engine oil, if the engine oil is actually really cold, it'll allow it to flow through this little hole in the center so your engine's not starved of oil while it's being heated up because it's too thick to be pumped through the filter medium because it's too cold outside or if the filter becomes clogged in an issue like that or racing applications. However, unfortunately, on the outside of it, this is what they call stamped steel or junk metal, in my opinion. And you can see that if you accidentally have the tiniest dent in the outside of the filter cartridge or housing, 
then it could actually dent this. And if it does, then it could cause you to get unfiltered engine oil running through the oil filter. It makes it around the filter median and your engine isn't protected. Now, I want you guys to look at this. There's some strange little marks here and you can look at the center of it. Here we have the bypass valve for the Fram engine oil filter. And as you guys have seen, this stamp piece of steel, it bends really easy. So make sure you guys be careful with that. It seems that most engine oil filters contain that. Here's the Fram's um, so-called lubrication that they end up putting on the inside of this filter. But for some reason, they get it on this area. It seems to be the same place all the time, some in great puddles. And I really don't appreciate it because dust particles and so forth, they actually stick to that. And that's definitely not good. But most engine oil filter companies should seal their oil filter up in a bag because they say it's the number one problem. And that's actually contamination of the engine oil. You can see in the middle here, there's a number and I'm not really sure what that means. The spring pressure does seem to be a little bit different though on the Fram Ultra Synthetic and the other Fram Tough Guard, but maybe that's just a minor difference, nothing to worry about, as long as it meets the specifications for that engine particularly. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the other. As you can see, this one contains this uh, oil as it would appear to be, because if it were water, it would probably evaporate. However, this filter doesn't contain the exact same setup for the bypass valve. Now, the steel, unfortunately, isn't really any stronger. And so, you can see uh, it bends pretty easy, unfortunately, for both. Or should I say, all four in this case. Now, as for the other, I want you guys to see something. Yes, there's a hole in the center, but... In this case, it's actually pretty good setup, I think, because you don't have to worry about um, it getting knocked out of place. But the stamp steel, unfortunately, it does do the same job. It holds all this in place. And in the filter media, the pleats, they look evenly distributed. So in that aspect of it, I have to give credit. The AC Delco seems to be made decent quality. I like the setup, and as for the bypass valve, yeah, it's totally different. I mean, made into the oil filter itself, I think is much better way to go. But the only issue I really see, aside from the stamp steel, is this glue. They seem to get really sloppy with the glue now, and it gets on the filter media. Some end up being a lot worse than others. Now, this one isn't all that bad. I've seen much worse. Right here was the bypass valve I was talking about. You can see it's made into it. And this is a much better setup, in my opinion. It's much more stable being made into the entire oil filter. You can see right here, you just apply pressure as the oil would apply in most situations. And it'll send you unfiltered engine oil, which in some cases could actually save your engine. Now, look in the center of this. As you guys can see here, there's no rust buildup, no issues with that. I've found rust many other times with other engine oil filters, so it's never a given. Definitely don't count that out. As a matter of fact, when you go to buy an engine oil filter, especially if it's not in plastic. First thing you guys need to do is take the engine oil filter, open up the box, look inside, see if you can see any rust or debris or anything like that. If you don't see any rust or debris, take the filter and look on the housing part of the filter, the steel that's encased in. Look, see if you see any dents. If there's any dents on that filter, do not buy it. Absolutely do not buy it. Now the Fram Ultra Synthetic, I have to say, it's made of some pretty good quality. 
I'm not sure why they keep having this problem though. That's probably the biggest issue aside from the stamp pieces still is the pleats aren't all evenly distributed. So you're looking at about 10 or 15% of the pleats have these big wide gaps. And you might think, oh, it's not a major issue. Well, maybe not, but maybe. Because what happens is then you'll start to have a lot of contaminants go to the same area. And once it does that, it starts to plug up that one side much faster. So then you don't have all the filter filtering as much as fast. They do have a steel ribbing in it and it has steel mesh screen inside of it to make it even more sturdy. So overall, it's a pretty good quality filter. Now we have the Fram Can of Death. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or not really. You guys can check this out. I mean, it's just as bad as the orange can of death. Look at it. It has all this cardboard junk on it. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. There is no reason to use cardboard. I mean, anything but cardboard. And, as I said, now the pleats, most of them are evenly distributed. I don't see any chunks of glue that bad. Uh, there's no rust on the inside, which is pretty unusual for these Fram filters. You can see the cardboard's already getting all crinkled up. We'll give it a big tug because I've had many of these. When I tugged on the cardboard, I mean, it would just shred into little pieces. And that definitely is not something that you want to trust your engine with, which could be, you know, a twenty or even $50,000 vehicle. I mean, even ch cheap vehicles today are twenty grand. So definitely not something I would trust. It does have a steel center tube, and that's even surprising. I'm really shocked they're not trying to use a cardboard center tubing. The K&N oil filter is almost identical to the AC Delco, which definitely makes you wonder. I mean, look at the pleats, look at the construction of it, along with just about everything else. And you'll see that there's a lot of similarities and I don't believe in coincidences. But now when it comes to the bypass valve and the filter itself, or should I say the filter housing, now that I will say it's uh, different made in that aspect, but other than that, identical. You can see right here it has a steel center tubing. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the bypass valve made into it as well. Other than that though, not only is it the same, but they both seem to be really great construction. Just like I said, there's a glue issue going on here with clumps of glue making up on the outside of the filter medium. Not too bad. I've seen much worse. You can see side by side, you'd almost mistake them for the same engine oil filter. Even the glue, which is funny enough, is the same color, which as I said, don't go for coincidences. The pleats are pretty much even throughout both sides of the engine oil filters. You can see right here, there's the big difference, the bypass valve. Now, I want you guys to check this out. The K&N filter housing, here we have it. Let's see just how strong this is. See how hard it is for me to try to bend it in because believe it or not, with the orange cans of death, I've heard them shooting off on several people. This one is actually pretty strong, and I'm not really surprised, because if it was made by the same manufacturing company as K&N, well, they have some of the strongest ones out there. That's actually one of their great qualities, is their oil filter housing. You can see they make it so you can get an oil filter wrench on here, which is pretty handy. Some oil filter companies don't actually do that. Now let's look at the Fram Ultra Synthetic. They do put a nice rough uh, material on here, which makes it easier to hold on to. It's not as slippery. And you can put an oil filter wrench on here as well. See how easy it is to try to fold this one. Oh man, that is really easy, guys. And I'm not kidding. I was really trying it's almost as hard as I could on the AC Delco oil filter housing. Now, let's go ahead and look at this. What else do they include on here? It would appear they include 
instructions on how to install this engine oil filter, which could be useful for a lot of people, believe it or not. Even the arrows which point in the direction that you need to turn this engine oil filter to tighten it. That's a nice gesture if you ask me. I'm glad they don't overlook these small things that many companies do just in general. So a lot of people really don't go that far, just like with the website. All these little things are why some of these people that are these big uh, Fram fans will come after you if you say anything negative about Fram. I just like to give an honest opinion about everything. As I said, I'm not a big Fram fanboy, but I call it like I see it. And they seem to cater to a lot of people. So you can't really fault them for that, which is more than a lot of companies do. You can see this one. I mean, really, it's not all that strong either. Something that they probably should improve in. I mean, you would think, like with the ultra synthetic, you would get the best of the best. Which the filter medium, I will say, that is pretty darn good construction. Here we have the KN. I will have to say, they always go to great lengths to make theirs uh, pretty strong. But will this one hold up the same? Only thing I see on the side of this housing is really just how to dispose of. Um, the filter and so forth and the oil now you can see the little hole right here in the tool that you can use to take off this engine oil filter the hole itself is actually to put a small little cable on to hook it to the engine somewhere this way if it does try to pop off which I doubt it you see how strong this thing is I'm trying hard as I can and it will not bend the holes used to tie down the filter in case of a blow off. Guys, include your car's make and model if you want to see your oil filter tested. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.